The goal of the navigation task is to autonomously drive the robot from a starting position to a designated final goal, ensuring safe and efficient traversal. The algorithm is fed point clouds along with odometry data. These point clouds are then transferred to the original occupancy surface, which serves as the input for a sparse Gaussian process, SGP. The output from the SGP comprises a predicted occupancy surface and a variance surface. The variance surface is analyzed to derive local navigation goals. Upon unfolding the variance surface and thresholding it, segments are examined. If the width of segment exceeds the sum of the robot's width and a predetermined threshold, delta, a subgoal is inserted at the segment's midpoint. A cost function J is employed to evaluate each subgoal with the goal G asterisk having the lowest cost being forwarded to the controller. This section features clips of our method being tested in the CHT environment, showcasing the AB, AC, and BD scenarios. The footage illustrates the robot successfully navigating uneven terrain. Metrics of each trial are displayed here. At each iteration, the robot is following the local goal that has the lowest cost. These local goals are colored red in RVIS. Displayed are the same trial paths undertaken by our selected baseline. It's observed that the baseline shows longer paths and registered higher roll angles due to its tendency to drive along the edges of hills. Here we present a compilation of paths chosen by both our method and the baseline, offering a comparative view. Within the VTA environment, our method facilitated the robot's successful navigation along a path characterized by two sharp curves. In the ML environment, our method proved effective as the robot successfully bypassed the hills en route to reaching the goal. This segment shows the hardware experiments we conducted, highlighting the robot adeptly avoiding a steep hill in the GSB environment. See the husky robot skillfully navigating around hills to choose the safest path to the goal. Thank you for watching.